I can't sit by and listen to these lies and nonsense. We spoke about this a couple days ago. This mysterious illness in children that they're plastering all over the news is radiation poisoning. The media is twisting this demonically to intertwine it with the coronavirus. These news articles aggravate me beyond belief making stuff up day by day that the sheep will consume as gospel. A warning this afternoon for parents. More children are getting sick from a mysterious illness believed to be related to coronavirus. Health reporter Haley Hernandez has the latest on what parents need to know. Doctors and researchers are on an urgent search for answers after more than 85 children in New York were diagnosed with a mystery illness related to COVID-19. It's possible that these cases were coming in and were not diagnosed as related to COVID because they don't appear as COVID. Doctors are now alerting the public to a range of symptoms to look out for. If they have a child who's got a persistent fever for more than three days um, and has these, these abdominal symptoms of vomiting, diarrhea, severe belly pain, that would be a time to call your pediatrician. These symptoms are mirroring more commonly known inflammatory illnesses like Kawasaki disease and toxic shock syndrome. So far, experts know this can develop up to six weeks after an infection, even in kids who didn't know they had coronavirus. It is important to note, though, that this is rare and most children do recover. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC Channel 2 News. What parents should know about the mysterious coronavirus-related disease affecting children? Pediatric Multi-System Inflammatory Syndrome. Health officials are investigating 110 cases in New York where three children have died from the Kawasaki-like illness. Hold on, you said it was coronavirus related, but then it's a Kawasaki-like illness? Can you guys make up your minds? The rare but possibly life-threatening condition, which is being called Pediatric Multisystem Inflammatory Syndrome, or PMIS, presents with symptoms that often differ from kid to kid, and can include fever, stomach pain, and rashes, as well as red eyes, loss of appetite, and lethargy. This is similar to what's seen in Kawasaki disease, a rare inflammatory condition which tends to hit 1 in 10,000 American children under 5, as well as toxic shock syndrome, a complication from an infection that can include fever, low blood pressure, vomiting, and rashes. I don't know how many times I'm going to say this. These are symptoms of radiation poisoning. Textbook radiation poisoning. Nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, headache, fever, dizziness and disorientation, weakness and fatigue. The symptoms listed in this article are identical to symptoms listed by the Mayo Clinic for radiation poisoning. If you Google these symptoms from this mysterious illness and you Google radiation poisoning, exact same symptoms, literally 10 to 15 symptoms that are all exactly the same, identical. Nothing different. New York State is investigating 102 cases of a potentially COVID-related inflammatory illness in children. Tragically, three young New Yorkers lost their lives to this illness. Though rare, we have cases in children of all ages. How is it COVID-related? How is it COVID-related? Is it COVID-related like these people that are getting suffocated in hospitals by ventilators are COVID-related? Is it COVID-related like these people in nursing homes that died of pneumonia are COVID-related? Three young New Yorkers didn't lose their lives to this illness. You killed them with your new fucking cell towers. These cases occur in children that are closer to towers or have higher levels of metals in their body. It acts like an antenna. While we believe this illness to be rare, seek care if your child has these symptoms, especially if your child has been exposed to someone who had COVID-19. COVID-related illness in children. Again, tell me how this is COVID related. That's like saying a broken bone is related to heart disease. Two completely different things. Again, the symptoms listed here are radiation poisoning from radio waves emitted by new telecommunications infrastructure. And when fruit tests positive for COVID, of course, you can intertwine everything for it. Look at this bullshit at the bottom. Stay home, stop the spread, save lives. 
Really? Everyone's been locked in their homes like rats for three months and children are suddenly dropping dead? You know, it's funny that you're telling people to stay in their homes so that you can fry them with the Wi-Fi that you set up so quickly while we're locked inside. Now I know if I you know, want a stable job and reliable income to work for Verizon because they are literally run by the demons that want to fry us. Now we have a new issue that we're looking at which is something we're just investigating now. But while rare, we're seeing some cases where children affected with the COVID virus can become ill with symptoms similar to the Kawasaki disease or toxic, toxic shock-like syndrome that literally causes inflammation in their uh, blood vessels. This past Thursday, a five-year-old boy passed away uh, from COVID-related complications, and the State Department of Health is investigating several other cases uh, that present similar circumstances. Uh, this would be uh, really painful news and would open up an entirely different chapter, because I can't tell you how many people I spoke to who took peace and solace in the fact that children were not getting infected. We thought that children might be uh, vehicles of transmission. The child could get affected and come home and infect the family. But we didn't think children would suffer from it. Uh, if this is true, some of these children are very, very old. Uh, so caution to uh, all people who, again, may have believed that their child couldn't be affected by COVID, this information suggests we may want to revisit that uh, quote unquote fact, that assumption. And if you see any of the uh, symptoms that are on the chart that your child is uh, evidencing, uh, caution should be taken because this is something that we're looking at. And again, uh, there has been at least one fatality because of this, and there may be others that are now under investigation. So uh, this is every parent's nightmare, right? That your child may actually be affected by this virus. But it's something we have to consider seriously now. How can anyone listen to this clown that looks like a demented chimp lying that the illness is the virus. These people are evil demonic beings that have no regard for human life and they're as ugly on the outside as they are on the inside. Make people aware of what they're doing and they will have nowhere to hide. The CDC is also expected to issue an alert any time now that tells doctors to report cases of this to their state and local health departments. What? So you can find their homes and alter the frequencies of the towers nearby? So you can start your second wave whenever you see fit? Make sure you have those numbers dialed in just right to cause the correct symptoms to kill as many as you wish and send as many to the hospital as you wish. Dr. Anthony Fauci mentioned it during his Senate testimony on Tuesday, describing the children presenting with COVID-19 who actually have a very strange inflammatory syndrome. He added, I think we better be careful that we are not cavalier in thinking that children are completely immune to the deleterious effects and they added in this article, of the virus. Dr. Dipshit, I think you're a little confused. You said that children presenting with COVID have a very strange inflammatory syndrome, which means that they don't actually have COVID. Then you said that we should be careful thinking children are immune to the effects of this virus. Uh, guys, pay attention to how these evil creeps word things. They're literally telling you that children are dying and it's not the virus. That is what they are saying children are dying and it is not the virus. One sentence, they say it's not the virus, but the next sentence, they bring up something about the virus, being oh so careful as to not say this inflammatory syndrome is the virus. If you read the article, it becomes very clear what the truth is. Keep in mind, however, that we're still learning about both COVID-19 and this new illness in children, so this information is subject to change. Notice how they completely separated those two things. PMIS is a new health condition that has started appearing in children during the COVID-19 pandemic and it shares similar symptoms to Kawasaki disease. Again, separating this new mysterious illness 
as it is not any of those things. What's even more ridiculous is seeing how they're explaining their way around the questions people are asking. We've been talking about coronavirus for months, so why are we only just seeing this illness in children now? Their answer is that there's a delayed manifestation of COVID in children, yet this is not COVID and a virus doesn't have a delayed manifestation. Radiation poisoning sure does. If one of my children gets this, can they infect my other kids? Their answer is that a child with this syndrome cannot cause another child to have this syndrome. So they know it's radiation poisoning, but why are they still telling people to stay home, stay safe, that COVID is dangerous. Such lying bullshit. What should I do if my child has these symptoms? Uh, yeah, they want you to go to your hospital so they can either kill your child on a ventilator or perhaps they want to spare him so they'll throw them in a lead room and protect them from these signals. Absolutely disgusting. How can I protect my children from catching this? Practice the same social distancing and personal hygiene practices being followed to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Are you kidding me? These clowns literally just said the syndrome is not transmissible between children, but then say to pretend as if it was transmissible. I'm going crazy as you guys can see. How is no one else talking about this? How are all these despicable scumbags that have their mediocre YouTube channel how do they not care about these children that are dying? I, I can't I can't do this anymore I, I mean as long as this is in the news how, how can I not cover it? This is the most significant thing the most blatantly obvious thing I have ever exposed on my YouTube channel. It has never been so black and white what is happening to these children and what the media is doing to distort the public. Share this video. I updated the flyer that I've been sending you guys. You know, we, we did a second update a few days ago. The third update now, I made it more clear on the flyer that they are blaming this mysterious illness that is radiation poisoning on the virus. So down below in the description, you know, sign up to my newsletter and there's also going to be the flyer that you can hand out to make people aware of this. Thank you guys for joining me today. You know, you guys know all the other stuff you can do to support me in the comments. Uh, I hope you're uh, doing okay. I'm losing my goddamn mind.